Hello and welcome again to one of our Minecraft classrooms. You're joining me here in a market building designed for our second large scale Minecraft unit of work. Students use this Minecraft world to both develop and demonstrate their understanding of the concept of sustainability. Through weekly sessions, students managed a variety of in-game resources and completed real-world activities to further their understanding of sustainability. The unit began by separating our 5-6 students into 5 factions. They were then tasked with creating leadership roles within each faction. Each role's duties and responsibilities was defined by each individual faction. This gave them greater ownership and independence. Once the roles were organised, each faction was assigned a Minecraft island. The giant floating block of land for each faction contained a different resource that needed to be carefully managed if the overall goal was to be met. The overall goal assigned was to complete a palace fit for a teacher. While the building itself was an arbitrary goal, the knowledge they would gain through the building process was anything but. In-game resources needed to be carefully managed to ensure that work could proceed. Stone and wood were needed for building materials. Iron ore and wood were needed to build tools. Coal was needed to fuel the furnaces that produced iron and stone. Meanwhile, students needed to make sure that there was a steady supply of food to ensure that their in-game avatars didn't starve to death. Each resource was limited and each needed to be sustainably maintained while still meeting construction needs. On top of this, students needed to trade between factions to ensure that they had adequate supply of the necessary resources for building. Through training, the pressures of a market economy evolved, all within a 5 6 classroom and all without teachers imposing conditions on the students. The parallels between their in-game situation and the real world were made clear through activities students completed. These activities guided students through sustainability issues around the world and allowed them to draw comparisons between their Minecraft experiences and broader sustainability issues. Each real world activity completed by students earned them Minecraft credits and they could utilise these to buy resources they could put towards building their palaces. The really rewarding aspect of this unit was watching the students make the connection between sustainability in the real world and the need for sustainability in their Minecraft experiences. While the Minecraft world was an incomplete and partial reflection of the complexities of sustainability in the real world, it gave students a way of reflecting on the part they play in working towards a sustainable future. Essentially, we were asking them to achieve sustainable growth in Minecraft. Such an idea in the real world is all too often amorphous and ungraspable for most 10 to 12 year olds. However, in Minecraft, they gained some small measure of understanding of ideas and debates which are crucial to their future. This was a great unit that produced some interesting student reflections. They shared these reflections with us through student produced documentaries filmed throughout the process. I'll leave you now with some of their clips. Thank you. Bye.